included and you know what's best for you, you're holding those answers. So this meditation will help guide you to that place within so that you can potentially hear or witness or have an experience where you can feel guided. Um, so in this meditation, you're welcome to lay down. It's important for your body to be really comfortable. So wherever you are in your space, the traditional way to meditate is to, you know, have your legs crossed and to be, you know, sitting up. But if you feel like you want to lay down, please, by all means, I welcome that. You want to be supported in your body. So if we're ready to be any questions, any anything anybody's worried about, scared about, you need no meditation experience to meditate. It's innate. It's something natural that comes. Um, it's just a remembering. So if anybody out there is feeling nervous or unsure, like I've meditated and I tried, it doesn't work for me. Just know that I will do the work. I'm your guide. So um, no pressure. And you're just going to approach it with like an easy mind, you know, innocence, maybe some play. Like, could this be a good experience for me? And then just go with the flow the best you can. And I'll do the work. Uh, any questions? Any comments, questions or anything? Okay. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Well, if you would like to, this would be the time to get into your comfortable place. Again, feel free to lay down. If you're laying down for this meditation, I totally invite you to take up space, like take up as much space, spread your legs out, your legs are long with the toes turned out. You're gonna lay down with your arms out long against your sides with your palms turned up in an act of receiving, of being open. And if you're in a seated position, then just gently close your eyes and begin to take a few deep breaths in through the body, in through the nose and exhale and release. and just beginning to watch the air come through the body, beginning to connect to the rhythm of the breath. And just watching the breath move in through the nose, down to the chest, maybe even reaching down to the toes and moving all the way back up and out the body. And here we're just gonna acknowledge that we're making a transition from having this active mind of go, 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 figuring it out, do, 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 to stillness, to being, to being right here now. And just know that thoughts will arise in your meditation practice. You may have dreamlike images and just welcome them. When we enter into meditation in a place of no resistance, there's nothing left for us to do than just be. If you feel like there's a charged thought, something you have to hold on to, something that's really pulling your attention away from the meditation practice, just give yourself that simple reminder that you can trust yourself to remember at the end of the meditation. And then simply release the thought come back, come back to the sound of my voice, come back to your breath. Here we'll take a collective deep breath in together. Breathe in through the nose and exhale. Making a symbol that we're acknowledging the transition to being. And here in this moment, begin to bring your awareness to the body. Just notice any sensations that are in the body. Begin to bring your awareness to any sensation in the body. And breathe into that sensation. And maybe your mind is moving you from different parts of the body where you can feel different sensations. And as you bring your awareness to the sensations of the body, begin to notice the thoughts associated. 
just knowing that you're okay, you're in the right place, you're doing the right thing. And take a deep breath in and exhale and release. Bring your awareness to no sensation in the body. To a place in the body where there's no sensation. And trust yourself to be there. A place where there's no sensation in the body. And just bring your awareness there for a moment. And now release your awareness to that place where there's no sensation in the body. And begin to become aware that sensations in the body are islands of experiences and that you can choose. You can choose where you move your awareness. You're that powerful, that purposeful. And now we will begin to scan through the body, bringing our awareness to the crown of the head, to your forehead, and smooth and release and soften the forehead, the space between the eyebrows. Relax your cheeks and the jaw, unhinge the jaw. Move your awareness down to the throat, noticing any sensations, any places of resistance in the body. Move your awareness down to the chest, and through your arms to your fingertips, into the abdomen. into your hips. And now your awareness through the leg, all the way to the soles of your feet. Begin to pull the air in through the body now with full awareness and exhale and release and see the air moving through the body, clearing and cleansing moving fluidly through the body, moving through resistance, moving through fear, moving through any blocks that may be held in the body. At your own pace and in the next few moments of silence, take three cycles of breath and see and witness the breath moving through the body. into the mind that you're here now, in this moment, in your presence, in your own being, that you've cut all the lines of energy that are extended out, that you're bringing everything home, that you're safe, grounded, contained, held. And here in this state of protection and deep connection, Bring your awareness to your heart. Bring your awareness to the chest, the heart. Begin to feel the beating heart. Begin to 
feel the pulse through the heart. And as you breathe into the heart space, begin to see this brilliant, bright white light that is all around your heart. It's infinite, expanding. And as you begin to see this light around your heart, Know that you are deeply protected. Begin to see the back of the heart, the front, the sides. And take a deep breath into the heart space and exhale and release. And here in the space of the heart's intelligence, Allow yourself the space and the freedom to ask your heart, what is the message I most need today? What do I need to hear today? And in the next few moments of silence, allow yourself the space and the freedom to accept Explore, to experience the proof of your heart. And here I invite you to begin to release, to fully let go of your awareness on the heart space, trusting the message, trusting the feelings, trusting any experiences that came to mind, trusting anything that came forward for you that is right and it's perfect. And here, just allow yourself to release and fully trust and aligning yourself to source energy and aligning yourself to your being, to your presence and knowing that that is enough. Your being is enough. And as you begin to release and let go and trust, allow yourself to fall deeper into your awareness, deeper into a state of being, deeper into a state of trust. knowing that you are deeply guided in this life. In the next few moments of silence, allow yourself just to be, to rest, to rest and let go, to release fully into trust, knowing that everything is being done for your highest good and for the highest good of all. Here in the next few moments of silence, allow yourself just to be.
And begin to connect to your breath again. Seeing that old friend and watching the breath move in through the body and leave again, just like you did in the beginning of the meditation. Taking those fuller, deeper breaths that feel so natural as you come back into the being, come back into the body and begin to pull your awareness back into the physical, back into reality. Again, watching the breath as your friend, seeing the rhythm, having this feeling of being airy, light, and free. If you're in a position where you're laying down, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest and roll over to your right side. And just taking a few cycles of breath here, no matter what position you are in. And just know that this experience you had in your meditation practice, this sense of being, this sense of presence, of trust and rest, that you can bring this into your everyday life. That every moment is the spiritual experience. That every moment matters. When it feels good to you, we will all meet in a seated position where we will close out our meditation practice. It brings our hands together in a prayer position. And if your eyes open during the transition, that's okay. Just close them again. We'll bow our heads in service to our hearts, in service to your soul. Before we end our meditation practice, I ask that you give yourself an immense amount of gratitude for being here. Gratitude for your heart, gratitude for your being, your presence. And send the same sense of gratitude out to each member of this group. Sending gratitude and love. Begin to see that same gratitude and love send out to your friends, to your family, to your communities, to your city, to your state, to the country, to the world. Send your sense of gratitude and love to the world. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you this evening. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the meditation teachers who have come before me. The light within me honors and truly sees the light within you. Namaste. Sorry, I had to turn the light on. That's our care fast. Welcome back for your meditation practice today. I hope that was um, helpful for you. Um, I wanted to read something for you guys before I go. Is that okay? I don't know if it's, is that good? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. This is from the Upanishads. Um, and I just wanted to read it to you because before I started this meditation, uh, before I hopped on, I opened the book and I just turned to this page and I felt like it was just needing, needing this group. Um, as a caterpillar, having come to the end of the blade of grass, draws itself together and reaches out for the next. 
So the self, having come to the end of one life and dispelled all ignorance, gathers in his faculties and reaches out from the old body to a new. Essentially what that's meaning is like we have the choice. We have the choice to reach out and continue going forward and to embrace what's new for us and to release what's old. And so many of us are going through a transformational time. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And and again, it's from the Upanishads and I can send it to Ellie so that you can send it to them if it's, if it's interesting. Um, but yeah, I know we're all going through so- something and all going through a transition and meditation is such an amazing tool and pathway to help you see, you know, and witness where you are. So yeah, so. Thank you for for inviting me. Thank you for bringing me here to this group. And if anybody has any experiences or anything they want to share, or any questions, I'm here. I'm available. Ellie, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lauren. That was beautiful. Awesome. I'm glad. <laughs> I hope it was helpful, and hope you guys are all feeling very good and and. It, you will sleep well, hopefully. And um, sometimes meditation, you don't even feel the results until a little bit later. And then you're like, oh, I, you know, I would have been reactive to something or um, yeah, you know, you'll sleep really good or have really vivid dreams. So just be on the lookout. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. And yeah, if y'all want to drop in the chat how you feel, um, just speak out loud. You can speak out loud too. Yeah, I, yeah. I know sometimes always after a meditation, people are so chill that nobody, everybody's like, I'm good. <laughs> so, I get it. Yeah, that was amazing, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm, you're welcome. And yeah, thank you all for joining. I'm so excited to see all y'all on here. Awesome. Okay, and I guess where they can connect with you if they want to um, on Insight Timer. Yeah, if you, yeah, um, I'm a meditation teacher on Insight Timer. If you're not familiar with that, that's a free meditation app. It's the number one meditation app uh, in the world. And uh, there's a ton of meditations on there of my own and amazing, brilliant teachers as well. And um, if you are into podcasts, that's where mostly all of my meditations are. Anything new, that's at Inner Guidance Daily. It's available all places that are, you know, you podcast, um, iTunes, Spotify, whatever works for you. And um, yeah, if you're on Instagram, you can connect with me at innerrebel.co. Uh, thank you, Ellie. Yeah, she's going to share where um, Inner Guidance Daily and innerrebel.co those are the best places and I just encourage you to meditate keep meditating through this time it's a it's a challenging time for us all and meditation truly is a tool and a pathway it's something you can naturally do you don't need any experience like I said uh, there's so many guides that can help you so many different types of meditations just keep following the little breadcrumbs until you find something that works for you And they always like, they recommend you do meditation, you know, at the beginning and the end of the day, 20 minutes is the recommended time. You kind of bookend your day. But again, life happens. I'm a mother of a three and a half year old. Sometimes I meditate five minutes in the morning and then it's 15 minutes in the afternoon. So you you do what's right for you in your life and trust your inner guidance. Beautiful. Thank you so much again, Lauren. You're so welcome. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes. Thanks for everyone. And I'm going to let you guys sign off. Have the best night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you.